Is anybody besides me having trouble keeping track of all these black on white murders? Really horrific, sadistic, vicious murders that have been popping up in the paper over the last couple of days. I mean, we've done a couple videos on them just in the last few weeks. Black on white murder, black on Asian, black on young, black on old, black on gay. But uh, then another one popped up tonight. The first thing I thought of was, well, man, we just had this thing happen in Fresno. Black guy hated white people, went out and killed a bunch of them. Down in, Then you went down to Austin, Texas. Uh, black guy just started stabbing white people, killed one of them. Now we come to Boston, Massachusetts, Southie. A couple of doctors are found with their hands tied, their throats cut. These two doctors killed by this guy. And the story is the same. Well, let's take a look at the story from Boston, but because it's the same as the one from Fresno, same as the one from Austin. Two doctors murdered inside a luxury South Boston penthouse identified. 49-year-old Dr. Richard Field and 38-year-old Lena Bolanos, both anesthesiologists, they were killed last night. The suspect was shot and is now under arrest. Good evening, I'm Katie Bryce. And I'm Ken McLeod. Now police are working to pinpoint a motive for this hideous crime. WBZ's Paul Burton has the story from South Boston tonight. Sadness, shock. Of course, it's scary. A horrific, gruesome crime scene inside a penthouse of a luxury condominium complex in South Boston. Police say two people were found dead Friday night. Sources tell WBZ the couple are well-known doctors in the area. Both were found inside the penthouse, tied up with their throats slashed. I'm going to let you in on one of the dirty little secrets of reporting. A reporter can get you to say anything he wants you to say. So if a reporter sticks a microphone in your face and he, he gives you the vibe or asks you a certain question, you're going to say, oh no, that's never happened around here before. But if the reporter wants a different answer, by the way, the story's already written and produced in the reporter and producer's head. Now all they have to do, all, all they have to do is go out and find a few actors to say what they already know has to be said. So if they want somebody to say, oh no, that never happens around here before, that's a very safe neighborhood, which is what they said in Fresno, what they, what they said in Austin, is what they said in Boston. Now, I've never heard anything like that before. That is what they'll get you to say. If you don't say it, they'll just move on to somebody else. And if you want, but if you wanted to somebody to say the opposite, you would ask the opposite kind of question. You would say something like, man, there's a lot of killings in Boston these days. Do you remember this one over here, this one over there, this one over there? Do you remember Austin? Do you remember Fresno? It seems like there's a lot of black and white killings these days. If you ask that question, then you would get a totally different answer. Then the people, instead of looking at the camera and saying, oh yes, we're very surprised because this never happens around here, they'd be saying, yeah, I've been worried about this black criminality that's been we've been experiencing around here. Nobody seems to be talking about it. Mostly because nobody wants to make the black kids angry.